This video is brought to you by Card Kingdom, and they're looking to give you a 1-1 Spirit token with all your Theros Beyond Death pre-orders. So pre-order now, nab yourself a free token. It's free value, so there's no reason not to do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Pioneer Peak. This week we're doing Rakdos Control, that's right. It's pretty much Jund, it's almost Jund, it's almost Grixis, whichever you want to call it, but it's pretty sweet. Uh, the deck is just relying on a, few set, a key set of cards. But this deck grinds. It grinds very well. Uh, we have, you know, our, our Chandra Planeswalkers and a ton of removal spells. And, you know, obviously the real estate lands that we need to play those spells. Our sideboard has Duress for the control matchup since blue-white's pretty popular and whatever combos, uh, combo decks there are out there. Uh, we have Kalidus for some exiling because there's been a... You know, Graveyard, Dredge deck or whatever, the one that uses Prized Amalgam, Haunted Dead, stuff like that. Uh, Ritual of Sits to help deal with the aggro decks. Slaughter Games for any decks that are trying to combo and be, like, you know, just has a few win cons that we just need to pick off. And Glorybringer, because Glorybringer is just good. It's a 5-mana 4-4 that picks things off with haste. Love it. And then Fry, just for any blue and white uh, Planeswalkers and creatures. And then Languish, because I wanted to mix it up with Ritual of Soot and Languish. Uh, just because there will be some things that are problematic to remove that might be indestructible, like a Danto Vanguard. And then Noxious Grass for the same thing, like, you know, any, any green or white decks. And then Chandra for uh, the blue-white matchup. The big Chandra, that is. So, uh, the key engines in this deck are going to revolve around cards like Goblin Dark Dwellers, which is a 5-mana menace. When Goblin Dark Dwellers enters the battlefield, you may cast target instant or sorcery card with converted mana cost 3 or less from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. If that card will be put into your graveyard this turn, exile it instead. So, what this means is that you can now play this, get your Coligan's Command, exile it, get a free Coligan's Command, and bring something back. Uh, that's going to be a huge thing that we get to do, like being able to like return another Dark Dwellers while blowing something up or shooting something or, or you know, getting back a... Bone Crusher Giant, so then we have a Shock and a Bone Crusher Giant again. Uh, so this is just a huge part of it. And it's mostly why a lot of our spells are three mana or less. The only one that we don't have that isn't is the Vraska's Contempt, but that's because there's been a lot of Phoenixes and things like that, so I want to be able to deal with uh, Rekindling Phoenixes. Uh, Chandra, Acolyte of Flame, just, you know, th the Chandra isn't, like, the main key part of the deck, but the thing is, Chandra and all the other Chandras in the deck play very well together, uh, as this Chandra allows us to get a ton of our spells back, uh, it's pretty solid there, also her zero, putting a loyalty on our red planeswalkers means this Chandra, the Chandra Torch of Defiance, will be able to ult even faster, and of course, this Chandra is just very good on her own, uh, and then we also play a big Chandra in Awakened Inferno, but yeah, it's just pretty much beat down with some goblins, some giants, and some Chandras, and control the board until then. So, that holding up any longer, let's see how we do in the league. Kind of like this hand on the draw. I'll keep. Let's see if it punishes me. We're on the draw. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Oh, boy. Yeah, we really uh, need a land here. Okay, well, it's not it. But next turn, we can make them sack a Soul Scar Mage, or we can just Dread Bore it. They might just be like blue-red, like wizards. Oh, boy. Okay. So, let's see what do they have in hand here. Oh, perfect, actually. Kill that one. Kill the Dread Horde Arcanist. Go for the Thought Seize here. Wizard's Lightning, Chain Whirler, Royal Scions. Oddly enough, I'm okay with them having... So, like, Royal Scions, I just make them sack a Planeswalker, right? It does draw them cards. I'd rather save myself three damage here. Uh, Chain Whirler, that will be another threat. Uh, let's just get rid of Royal Scions. Let them just keep their Wizard spell. Which three drop will they play today? They got a Heart of Kirin. Well, good thing we got rid of that Royal Scions. Kinda. Alright, what do we draw? Not what I was looking for, but I get to go and cast Stomp. Stomp now, because if they decide they want to cast anything, I'll be in trouble. But it seems like we're both stuck on a little bit of mana here. So, okay, there's the third land. So, is it Chain Whirler swing in? Yup, yup. So, I'm down to 11. Maybe I just make them sack. No, but, like, after that point, they would just hold up the Wizard's Lightning, and then I would just take three a ton. So, th this is currently okay, I guess. We know the two cards in hand. Oh, boy. Um... All right, well, we're going to have to pass again. Still don't have anything to actually, like, pl I need lands here. I need land number three. That's what I'm looking for. Nope. All right, target player sacrifices an artifact. Just get rid of that now. Cool, pass back to them. Remember, we still know what's in their hand. We have Wizard's Lightning plus Glorybringer. So whatever I'm doing, I need to hold up an instant speed spell. 
All right, they no longer have that. I We only have to worry about a Glorybringer now. All right, Dreadhorde Arcanist plus another card in hand. Well, still don't have... Oh, boy, this is painful. Um, That means when they attack, can they cast? Yeah, I really can't do anything. Uh, I just kind of got to just sit back here. It's unfortunate. I feel like we had a decent enough start. There's a lot that we could, you know, control the board with. But for now, we're kind of just stuck in this spot of not playing anything. We'll take one, I guess. They have two cards in hand that we don't know about in a glory bringer. Yep, that's pretty good. All right, let's go ahead and concede and go to the next one. Just didn't draw any lands here. We had so much action. All right, looks like we're going to need Ritual of Soots against this opponent. Probably could use a Kalidus or two to really, like, you know, swing our health back in our, our favor because, you know, they're going to play things like Glory Bringer. Is Collective Brutality good here? I'm not really sure. Uh, probably not. Coligan's Command blows up an artifact. All right, let's try this. I think we, should, we can go down to Dark Dwellers. We have too many five drops. Still want Thoughtseize because I still want to be able to rip stuff from their hand. Maybe I didn't need to take out every Collective Brutality, but... And maybe we could play Duress and whatnot. Like, Slaughter Games, I don't think we need. Languish does hit a majority... Like, actually, just a majority of their things, right? Because, like, Ritual of Sid doesn't kill Glorybringer. Should I just keep this for the lands? I mean, yeah, sure, I'll keep it. At this point, we got dunked on too hard by not hitting any of our lands last game. And I want to make sure that doesn't happen again. All right, in the main one, let's go ahead and play Chalice, or I mean Malice, and move to the bottom of the library, pass. I think I'll just, I mean, that's good enough, right? We have four mana here. It's, I mean, yeah, we do need our six mana to play Chandra, but I don't even know if we'll live that long if we don't find something to do soon. Uh, might be worth it to just cycle this Canyon Slough. Yeah, I gotta cycle this Canyon Slough. So if I don't, we are going to get hit for a non-zero amount of damage, and it's gonna keep piling up. And it's not like we have something to play on three anyways. And if we do, we play the mountain. Opt. Ooh, that's terrifying. All right, Castle Embereth. That's concerning. Oh, that's not a... Oh, crap. I accidentally... Yeah, you know what? Whatever. I know. I know. YouTube, I know. I accidentally left up the mana and didn't use it. I f 6 my way through it. All right. Maybe next turn I can go ahead and just play Kalidus and have it live. I'm worried about them having four mana Chandra and just, like, killing my Kalidus. How do you get Renown? Remember when cast a creature, a non-creature spell over this Renown? Oh, it just has to deal damage. That's pretty good. Alright, let's go ahead and play Kalidus. Pass back to the opponent. So now I need to find a way around this Scab Clan Berserker. Alright, Ramunap. I mean, I guess I can just let them... If they... I, I think I'm willing to block, right? Like, if they, if they swing in, they pump, I'll block. Nets me a zombie. It also, like, I get I get to go Coligan's Command, bring it back. Sure. So I get a zombie. Perfect. Yup. I would like to cast that card. Cast return target creature from my graveyard. Target player discards a card. Alright, cool. Choose target creature in a graveyard. Mine. Target player. Them. They're that target player. Well, we gotta start attacking somewhere. So, get in there, zombie. Do your thing. Hopefully I don't have to actually play this Canyon Slew to cast Chandra. I can just draw another land and then just cycle. Ooh, a Phoenix. Okay, well, that's a magical card. Play the land. Let's Thought Seize them. Wizard's Lightning and another Rekindling Phoenix. I'm okay with just getting rid of that. Because next turn I can just go ahead and minus. Once I minus, all I have to do is just do the minus three. I pick off both Phoenixes. Get two more zombies out of the situation if they play the second one. Oh, perfect. This is going to be such a blowout. Oh, this is going to feel so good. Here we go. Oh, I cannot cast this fast enough. Eh, whatever. We lose our zombie, but we get two more. Worth. All right. So we gain a ton of life back. They're down to six. Yeah, that feels good. Nice. And we got, we got the next one. We go to the next one. All right. So we saw the phoenixes. Those are a problem. Uh, Glorybringer? Maybe Glorybringer's good. Oh, god, I love the promo art of Glorybringer. Maybe Glorybringer's just good enough. And, you know, Glorybringer doesn't get picked off by opposing Glorybringers. I mean, Chandra is a one heck of a magic card. We go down one of these Bedlam Revelers. How do I get out of this spot? I mean, maybe down one Dark Dwellers. Dark Dwellers is pretty good, but I think we gotta go bigger. And, or, I mean, we gotta add... If we're adding two Glorybringers, it's a bit much. 
Plus, we get the good old tag team of Glorybringer and Kalidus. Uh, maybe I could have left the Bedlam Reveler in. No, no, no. This is fine. All right, we pushed it to game three, though. That's pretty good. Now, how do we do on the draw? I mean, it's lands, I guess. That's not the worst thing. <laughs> Go Temple. Next turn, we just make them sack whatever they played and Thought Seize on turns three and four to make it so they don't get anything. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. And I'm going to go ahead and keep this, right? We have lands. On the draw, we have lands. We have what we're looking for. Turn one wizard, I assume. Oh, hold the phone. Must be an opt. Uh, okay, well, we don't need another land. So we'll go ahead and pass that to the opponent now. The optimal line. Makes sense, opponent. Okay, what's next? So depending on what they do this turn, we'll shock. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's going on over here? Probably still going to just... I mean, we have everything we need. Oh, okay, cool. So we can just play this tapped. Then we go ahead and Thought Seize the opponent. Let's see what you've got. Apparently, it's just action. Um, Rekindling Phoenix, probably. I think Rekindling Phoenix is more of an issue. But they only have two lands. This draws them a land. But once they find that land, we're in so much trouble. Like, how do we get rid of those Rekindling Phoenixes efficiently? I can't let them draw more cards. I'll just disrupt their curve and pass. Like a Chain Whirler, sure. They do have the fourth land. We saw that. Okay. All right, all right, all right. How do I get out of this? Phoenix won. These darn rekindling phoenixes. I do not miss that card. Let's go ahead and blow up Castle Embrith. Okay. So now I can cycle the Canyon Slew. Like, I'm gonna need... Yeah, Ritual Slit doesn't deal with this, so it has to be, like, Languish. They play another Phoenix. We're down to, like, taking eight next turn. Oh, lordy. Well, I guess I could have cycled first. Ah, darn. That work? No, they just sack. No, none of these work. Yeah, that, that one doesn't work. Let me think here. Rekindling Phoenix is just good enough, I think, to get there. Maybe I should have just taken... Like, because, like, I would only have to deal with one of these. Yeah, I probably should have just taken one of these instead of the, the Royal Scions, right? Because we could deal with the Royal Scions. I guess we need Vraska's Contempt. That would kind of help. Oh, glory. Yeah, okay. GG's. GG's. All right, next game. I'll keep this. We have early interaction. Oh, uh, it looks like it's blue-white. All right. Drew. Um, oh, man. Are we going to have two games where we're stuck on two again? Game ones. I mean, I probably should mulligan these, like, two landers, I guess. Okay. Uh, how do I get, a, uh, get something out of this? I can throw... Yeah, let's just cast one of these. Just one mode. We'll make them counter it. Yep, syncopate for one. Can't pay the one. Because then next turn they get to do absorb, right? Yes, may as well just... Oh, nice. All right. Uh, put that on top. Now we for sure have at least our five mana. Um, They're adding a counter to their blast zone. Sure. Okay. Well, good thing that we uh waited a little bit here. Unfortunately, this makes it so that we don't get a, a giant, but you know what? Whatever. Ah. Okay, well, that also makes it so we don't get a giant, but... Brave the elements, huh? I'm not ready for that. Um, We do get to cast that Dread Boar again next turn. Feels pretty good. That's why I'm using that. Yeah, it looks like it might be Spellquell in time, huh? I kind of want to wait until their, like, you know, their upkeep, but I feel like the issue with that is that it could potentially get countered again. Bruise, Pierce, Detention Sphere, Syncopate. I think it's got to be... Treasure Cruise? No. We'll take the Syncopate. Alright, one more land. Huh. Do I want to cast this? Not really. Nah, it's cool. I'll just get his 4-4. Uh, four, four. Let him hold up their mana. Because once it gets countered, I want to... Like, it's going to be gone. So I want to make sure I have the option to use it again. At a point that matters a little bit more. Cool. Cool. All right, perfect. Oh, no, no, darn it. All right, so they went and used the treasure cruise. That's fine. We got a land. I don't know why I played that. Don't have that mana, so no, I can't. So let's go combat. Pass back to them. They might have big Teferi or something like that. Tension Sphere, sure. Probably taking care of my Chandra. I mean, we got to get those D Spheres out of their hand, so that makes sense. Right, that draws me a card, which is going to be pretty important, considering that I think they're just going to keep sitting there and just doing nothing. 
And while they do nothing, we can draw cards. Sure. Let's go ahead and begin combat. All right. I don't want to cast anything. Because, like, they'll have a blast zone. They can put three counters on it, right? That's an issue. I don't want to get countered for anything. Like, absorb. I don't want to give them a target to gain four life. All right, fine. They've got their blast zone on three. Hey, maybe they pop it and give us back our Chandra for some odd reason. Uh, yeah. All right, let's go ahead and draw. They're not going to be doing anything for quite some time. Let's see if this resolves. Sure. It's fine. No, I chose the wrong one. Yeah, I need a draw. I'm going to double shock for that. I can't just like... Uh, yeah, I really do need the draw. Hey, maybe they pop it on three right now. That would be really funny. Oh, nice. And we got there. Okay. Opponent likes counter spells. I feel like our whole sideboard. Um, Ritual of Snow. We probably don't even need... I didn't see anything else, right? It's just a bunch of counter spells. And like a few selfless spirits and spell quellers. So they're probably just... Playing, like, Teferi's on top of that. What else do they have? I guess Noxious Grass could be good. Spell Pierce, not so great when we have a ton of creatures. All right. We have seven cards. Let's get rid of Fatal Push. All right, what's next on our list here? I guess, like, Fatal Push isn't the absolute worst. It's probably better than a few Giants, but Giants are also a clock. Goblin Dark Dwellers, sure. Of quite a bit of fives. A few twos. Not entirely sure that we even need that Noxious Grasp. All right, let's try this. Teres Thoughtseize. I would need double red, though, at any point to even play anything else outside of the two discard spells. Mulligan. Sure, I'll keep this. Let's pitch a land back. Keep the spells that we have. Wish we had some discard, but it's fine. All right, opponent, your go. An opt. All right, there you go. Once again, another optimal line. All right, all right, all right. Our turn. Ooh. I'll, I'll just hold up the mana, right? Like, why not? And I'm going to keep Canyon Slew this time, so I'll play that next turn. Yeah, oh, there's the Teferi that we already knew about pretty much. Yeah, it's fine. Play Dreadbore. Now they can't do their spell queller shenanigans. Monastery Mentor. All right. So it's like Opt or something? Pithing Needle. Okay, you got it. Like Chandra? Yeah, that's a good one. All right. Hopefully they don't have some free spells that they can cast. And now we just got to hope we draw lands. It's kind of like what I'm in need of right now, just lands. Puts the card on top of their library, so it's either a land, counterspell, something like that. I need hand disruption too, would be pretty nice, but lands would be ideal right now. Treasure cruise, that's a that's a beating. Well, they have one blue up. I know they can't counter my, uh, my glory bringer if I draw the land. I did not. Spell pierce, nope, cool. Um, let's just go ahead and make some little friendly combat critters. Hit him. I'll do this now. Because I don't I don't know if I'll be able to play another, like... No, like, non-creature spells are a little scary to cast against them, right? Now, just got to remember that 3 Fairy really dunks on this Acolyte of Flame. Uh, yeah. Would you like to cast multiple spells in a turn? And then tap out for me? Darn it. Do two modes. Uh, reveals their hand. I'll pitch the, uh, Chandra that we can't use. Oh, Well, I guess that resolves. Can't pay it. Stuck on lands. Nope. Uh-huh. I'm gonna just put a counter on this. Syncopates are an issue. They have another like, tap land. We just need to get a fifth land and a sixth land. That'd be amazing, but... Alright, so we can't use our Chandra's minus. Yup. Yup. Alright, can we draw a land? Let me see a land. Holy cow. All right. Does that matter? They have two cards. Chandra's not even in our hand anymore. I can try to shoot that. Make him discard a card. Hold on. But then... Ah, jeez. All right. Yeah, we'll just do it. Okay. I guess we attack Teferi. All right. I hope they don't have uh, something like a spell queller to play. But why would they let... Coligan's command resolve, right? Monastery mentor again. Please, one time. Land. Thank you. Not a syncopate? Oh boy. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it so that this gets plus one. So they do have something for it. Okay? They must have another one. 
Wait, hey, hold on. Why didn't it exert? Wait, 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 wait. What happened? Why didn't it exert? Okay, but I still get to exert, right? Uh, okay. Never mind. I guess not. That sucks. Oh, boy. Okay, sure. Maybe I still live because they, uh, named something else. Alright, Acolyte of Flame. So Acolyte of Flame is done here. I need a land to get back in this. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. That's a good one. We'll go to the next one. Okay, so they have all the annoying cards. We have Contempt. Brave the elements from the opponent. Right, let's try this. I'll keep. Pass back to them. All right. They have spell pierce. All right, cool. Wait, where would I guess? If this is like one of their few spells in hand, then sure, let's go ahead and use the opt. Ooh, very nice. So you have the mentor that they're looking for. Uh, a lot of my creatures aren't doing anything, so I guess brave the elements is the only thing left. Interesting. Good news that we can make them sack a creature of theirs. This draws them a card. Yeah, let's get rid of that one. So they're Azorius mentor. Pretty cool, actually. Play the planes. Pass back to the opponent. They're probably going to wait until they have another turn, right? Let's get them to start using their mana. Cool. Worked out perfectly. No, can't pay that. All right, Field of Rune got exiled. Pass back to them. All right, they're going to get a white source. They're going to hold up. Yup, there's the mentor. Huh. All right, let's go ahead and get them to start using their stuff. What do I want to do here? Huh. Why not? Yep, brave the elements, you got it. And they still have to discard a card, so that's good. Play the land, pass back to them. So now we know exactly what's in their hand, right? Currently, before all their draws, it's just Surge of Righteousness. Alright, now we'll try to go ahead and Dreadbore their Mentor. Red, black. We can play around the uh, Supreme Will, we can play around Syncopate. Alright. Yes, I will pay for the syncopate. Ah, oh, darn. Nope. Okay, pass back to them. They cast any one spell, that means they immediately get to kill it. So I could potentially have just picked off one. Alright, pass back to the opponent. Alright. So now we have the option of doing Coligan's Command. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to pick one off. Unfortunately, actually this is pretty good, right? Choose target player, target permanent. That'll be the permanent. All right, we'll make a sack a creature. We know exactly what they have in hand. It's just that surge of righteousness. I just don't want to use my. Uh, I don't. I don't want to have to like actually like you know wait until my turn to do it or do whatever they want. Cool. Surge of righteousness is the only thing left. Nice. We get the W. Oh, we keep in this one. All right. It's fine. So what? We don't have any basics or anything that makes our lands untapped on the draw. Just the way we like it. Guild gates all day long and one temple. Also, the new artwork for these temples are gorgeous. Mm. Never mind. I really do hope we hit a swamp. You know what? Worth it. Worth it. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, this is a bad time and a half. Uh, I think I gotta get rid of the Ronus because we can't actually ever beat a Ronus. <laughs> I got the play set. Oh, yeah, right. I have to discard a card. I'll discard a Dragon Skull Summit. That seems reasonable. The next turn, I'll go ahead and just shock whatever they play to keep them off their... 5-5 five, five game plan. Oh, they just play the other one and they just hit me, right? Oh boy. Ronus, here we go. Both here, I guess. Alright, they're out of cards, currently. And I'm just casually taking 5, it's fine. Last thing I need is for them to have a 5-5 five, five to hit me with. Another one, that is. Oh, I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. 
I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. Yeah, I can't. Okay, if they have a 1 1, we die, right? So I gotta hold up my mana here in hopes that I can shoot down whatever 1 1 they play. Okay. Questing Beast also, like, does a crazy dunk fast on us. Ooh. Let's get, let's pick him up. Let's pick him up. Let's pick him up. Stupid Ronus. <laughs> All right. Maybe Languish helps. You see here. How much does this really help, though? I don't know. Probably not that much. Acolyte of Flame. Uh, Ongrath's Rampage would have been nice. This is just not useful in this matchup. Coligan's Command. Not that great. Probably go down a few of these. Chandra, a little bit too expensive. All right, let's try this. All right, I'll take the play this time. Uh, I'm gonna mulligan. Uh, this is a more... Yeah, this is a playable hand. This is a playable hand. That sick Nanbo where we can't cast the ritual, but whatever. It's the life we live. One, two, three... I don't know if I want to chance it. I'm gonna put that to the bottom. Chandra... Sure, I'll put that on top. It's almost like I can curve right into it. Depending on what they do next turn, I mean, do we really dread bore an elf? I guess the answer is now no, we do not. But on the bottom, I don't think we need another land. Especially when I think... How do we close the game against them, right? We need a way to close. They're going to keep drawing cards. If they don't play anything, I guess we can play Chandra. Spell or an ability. Oh, that's brutal. Interesting. Hopefully we hit a land. Oh, I wanted that. Man. Okay. Well, we're playing this because I think they have Questing Beast next turn. And we're going to go... Yeah, they have, if they have Questing Beast, it's a problem anyways. Alright, cool. Pass back to the opponent, I guess. What do they have? Are they just like a bunch of lands? Are they Nissas? Three, four, five. I'm like so curious what they, they could possibly have. Oh, Aspect of the Hydra. Okay. Okay, sure. Two, three, so that leaves up two mana. Is that even that good? Eh, let's just cut, keep putting red, uh, mana or counters on our stuff here. Can't play the land. That's fine. And exert. Okay, that's how you do it. Do I even want to let this happen? Eh, whatever. Sure. Yes, I know. Draw a card. We got rid of the elf. Steel Leaf Champion. That's okay with me. Now we're gonna go ahead and just fire off Dreadbore, I guess? Can't attack this turn because of exerting. Ooh. I guess I'll cast it. They draw a card. And I'm just gonna keep putting counters on my Planeswalkers. And then now I can at least protect my Planeswalkers from any shenanigans the opponent might have. What are they doing? They have so many lands and just like, they haven't played a single threat. It's kind of crazy. Yorvo, yeah. Yeah. You can have... That's all you, bud. That's all you. Eh, let's go ahead and do this. Alright, let's go ahead and attack. Without exerting, of course. The Questing Beast. You got it. Let's let him go to combat. All right, I'm going to try for it. Maybe they don't have, like, uh, I don't know, Blossoming Defense or something like that. Nice, and we got that one. Woo! All right, that was terrifying. Um, maybe we do want to languish now that we're on the draw. Chandra Acolyte, though nice. I don't know how good she is in a matchup where they're we're on the draw. They're just going to start dropping a ton of, like, threats that are all going to kill her immediately. Okay, let's try this. This feels better. All right, this is... A wonderful start. I'll keep this. We have something to do. One, two. We have a sweeper. Hopefully we can pick off the, uh, the Ronuses with this Thought Seize, but at least we get to go an Ongrass Rampage at a point. Make him sack it, maybe. Don't know if I can afford to shock. You know? Yeah, I'm not gonna shock Thought Seize. Alright, we're gonna leave him with the Galta in their hand. Okay, let's hope they whiff on some kind of 3-drop or something like that. And they're just on the Elf Beats. Then on the elf beats, I can li I can live with that. I like that plan. On top of the library, let's go ahead and blow this up. Ne oh, actually, hold on. We'll wait on until they're upkeep. All right, cool. All right. Uh, how important is this? They play a questing beast. I do want to hit it. Yeah. All right. I just want to be ready to hit the questing beast in case they play one. Because we know aspect hydra Galta, right? So if they go land questing beast, anything like that, I want to be ready for it. Sure. All right, pass back to them. We're going to hold on to Fuel Rune in case they get Castle Garenbrig. 
Huh. Yeah, sure. I mean, it doesn't change a thing to me. They're still just hitting me with elves. Hmm. Kill this, pick it off, they draw another card. I don't know if I like the sound of that. But it keeps them off their mana dork. And I don't actually have to use any removal on them. Sure. It's fine. I'll exert for it. Keeps them off their mana dork. They draw another creature. Sure, whatever. But we have the ability to go Ritual of Soot here. And also make them sack. Well, that's getting picked off immediately. Um, do I play another Glory Bringer? No, I'll just do that next turn. I'll wait until after they draw. Alright, and the reason why I waited until they drew was because I w It's small percentages. Maybe they need a land. Or maybe I, I want them to draw just like lands and lands and lands. Draw one more land, we make them sack that. Ooh. Alright. Galta. Great Henge. Great Henge is more problematic. Attack him with the 4-4. Four, four. Glorybringer's still pretty good. Glorybringer's still pretty good. Three, six, seven. No, we don't want to pay for that. And we get two glory bringers. All right, GG's. Okay, we're up against the Debo Legion. All right, can we keep Fatal Push into a Chandra, into a Chain World? I mean, we have all the mana. I'll, you know what? I'll run it. I'll run it. Seems kind of like a, a little loose, but we're on the draw. Hopefully, we just get something better. It's like, could be Thoughtseize time. Yep, all right, it's Thoughtseize time. All right, there goes our Chandra. <laughs> Well, we drew another Goblin Dark Dwellers. That's pretty good. All right, well, now we don't have anything to fill our turns between 1 and 5. The, the natural curve, of course. I think next turn I'm going to actually fire off Field of Ruin to try to blow up that Steam Vents. Oh, wow. We're up against Perfect Grixis mana. I like it. I like it. I'll pass. In case they play Nico Bolas. If they play 4 mana Bolas, I guess we throw away a Mountain, right? We're going to go ahead and blow up one of these lands. Sure. Their choice. Let's blow up Watery Grave at the end of their turn. I gotta get a Swamp. I mean, I wanted one anyways. Fatal push that. Alright, take our turn. Only thing is now I guess I want to land to play Dark Dwellers, but Dark Dwellers won't do anything. Because, like, what, they play Nico Bolas? That's, I need, I need Revolt to trigger. I'm actually, you know what? I'm pretty desperate. Is this worth taking 5 for? Yeah, we gotta get something going. I think this is worth taking 5-4. Can't do it again, though, but... Oh, boy. Yep. There you go. It's okay. I mean, I, I threw away a mountain. I get it. Dig? Yup. Might just throw away a Dark Dwellers. Or throw away a Fatal Push here. Then we can go double Stone Giant or a Bone Crusher Giant. We might even just be able to burn them out, too. That's my goal, but... I will not activate Castle Locked Wayne again. Well, guess that makes this pretty easy. We'll shock them. And then we're going to shock them again. They're at 10. That will resolve. If they play Nico Bolas, I'll throw away Fatal Push. They're down to 8 now. I think it's got to be Bedlam Reveler if my opponent... Like, I think my opponent might want to pick Bedlam Reveler. Like, Dark Dwellers, though, is a problem, but... Mm, I guess I can't cast, like, Reveler. That's the only thing. Okay. I'll pitch that. That's fine. 3, 6. Oh, lordy. So, they need a whiff on land number 7, or we're in a lot of trouble here. Either that or we need to draw a Planeswalker removal spell. Oh, that's such a problem. There's two of them now? Okay. Woo! Alright, I think this is how we're gonna have to do this. We're gonna go ahead and attack. Ah, uh, who do we attack, though? Like, if I attack them, they go to four, right? Uh, I attack... Uh, they're more likely to block if I swing into a Bolus, right? Yeah, I think they're more likely to block. I need that to get gone. Yep. All right, pass. What is that? Three. How many spells do we have? One. Two. Chase. Okay. Hopefully they don't have Drowned in the Lock or something like that. Interesting. I'll just play the Bone Crusher Giant and pass. Uh, what else do we have to worry about now? If they play another Dragon God, that'll be a problem. All right, so they take two. That's fine. What am I going to do about you? I guess we gotta start thought seizing. Get rid of the brazen borrower. Plus four. Let's go ahead and discard that. They know the last card in our hand. They're out of cards. We are we're down to one. Hopefully they don't draw creature bolus or something too crazy, and then we could just windmill slam bedlam reveler, refill our hand. Alright, perfect. Oh man, I don't want to throw away a stone crusher giant or bone crusher giant though. Like, cause there's a strong chance that I just draw a ton of lands. 
I'm gonna go for it anyways, whatever. Just play it. Yep, sounds right. Yep, literally drew three lands. That's a bummer. Alright. Maybe I won't draw another land? Oh, perfect, perfect. So I think that's uh, that's lethal. Nice! Got it! Alright, opponent is playing some good old Grixis. I love me some Grixis, so I'm on board with this. Glorybringer doesn't hit other dragons, so it does not kill Nico Bolas. Pretty good. Duress, also pretty good. Let's take a look here. What do we have? Two mana spell. Gotta kill with Jace. Stuff like that. Fatal Push still, like, usable in this matchup. Maybe we don't need another Kalidus. Coligan's Command, good for getting back our creatures and stuff like that, but not much else. Maybe when we're top, we're in a top deck war, maybe I'm not trying to load up with a bajillion forms of discard. I don't hate a sink, like, more glory bringers, though. But, like, Duress could also help in this position. Alright, I guess this is good enough. We'll have to run like this. Maybe, like, a singleton Kalidus is good. Or a few Kalidus, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if glory bringers are good in this matchup. Maybe on the play I could. I'll try this. I'm trying this because if they have Jace on two, we have a shock for it. Or a stomp for it, but, well, maybe we do. What are they discarding here? Alright, Giant, that makes sense. You know what, let's help their mana base out. Let's Thought Seize them back. Alright, there's Jace, there's Dreadbore. I won't have anything for a while, so no need to even grab that Dreadbore. Alright, they played a Drowned Catacomb. Uh, I'll move the land to the bottom, pass back to the opponent. Next turn, we'll go ahead and lead off with another Temple. Although this Urborg is really helping our opponent cast their Dragon Gods, but whatever. Sure, I'll put that on top, why not? There's a chance that maybe the opponent here plays, uh, Nico Bolas or something like that. Alright, there's the castle. Ooh, that's a big no-no. Alright. That's a big no-no. Should I just keep the land? Put that on the bottom. I don't think I can afford to just... I, I, I don't know, I mean, I, I can try to get to, like, Chandra, but if... If they, like, rip my hand apart or anything at all, then Chandra gets taken and that's it, right? I want to see if I can find an answer. Because I cannot play Kalidus into their Dreadbore. Huh. Yeah, really can't allow that. Kalidus dodging a fry here is pretty brutal. Alright. And they don't mind taking the damage now because they have a way to gain it back. Ugh. Gross. Alright, well, now I guess I do want to land. Unless they thought sees me. Oh, uh, okay. I did not expect to see that. Oh, jeez. Can I beat a Lily? I mean, I'll try. And then next turn, I've got to try... Like, I mean, like, this is my only sweeper, but... Jeez, I don't know if I have any options. Like, the only way I can deal with a ton of zombies is this. They're going to just punch in. They're not going to use their Dreadbore because they don't have to. How do I beat that? Oh boy. Yeah, we'll just have to try this. Get them to use their Dreadbore on me. They're not even that far from, like... I think I could just... I have to draw the removal. Like an Ongrath's Rampage, something that just deals with a Planeswalker right now. There we go, we got them to use one form of removal. They still have the Dreadbore, they have six power, so after this turn we go down to six. It has to be this turn, but they're also threatening to... Board wipe? Oh, jeez. This is a pickle. Quite the pickle. Alright, some way to kill this lily, please. Nope, incorrect. Well, let's try to just get information out of them then. Anything new that we don't know about? Well, we know they have lilies now. Dig through time. Okay, so they play probably like one or two of those, sure. Ah, man. I'm gonna get... I think there's a shot, right? Hostage taker, negate. So they do have counter spells. Okay, cool. Hostage taker, negate. They're just full-on mid-range, so Fry is going to be pretty good against some of that. Probably don't need... Okay, we can now bring in a Duress, I think. Another Duress. Maybe there's a world where I bring in Languish against them? Yeah, actually, you know what? I probably could have brought in a Languish. Wow. Um, sure, I'll just keep it. I feel like if we get Thought Seized a ton, like, at least we just have lands. We can play whatever we need. We have something to interact with early. Or un unless they don't have a blue permanent. Blue or white. Permanent, that is, but I would be amazed to see that. Yeah, the fry is cool. Oh, boy. Come on, deck. Field of Ruin, I would save if I knew. Like, well, I'm gonna save for a castle. So their hand is either a loaded... Okay, cool. 
It's like loaded with blue spells, like really powerful blue spells or something. Because I'm not seeing anything from the opponent yet. I'll keep the giant on top. All right, there's the blue. Nice. Okay, I am very happy to see that the opponent's playing that card because I love Thief of Sanity. I mean, I got to kill it, but I mean, I love it nonetheless. Sometimes you just, I guess, apparently <laughs> got to let the things you love go, you know? So I had to let the thief go. Got to let it go. Oh, boy. What are we going to do now? What does the opponent have for us today? Let's cast Bone Crusher Giant. Pass. Don't know if we can get caught up by any more of those, though. That card is a little too saucy. I don't know if we can get uh, hit by one of those. That's one of those really good magic cards, I think. All right, so Hero's Downfall, sure. We have something for Lily. Uh, sure, that's fine. I'll exile this Swamp. Or, like, how important is the sixth mana, right? Right now, not very. Yeah, I'll exile the Swamp. I'd rather have Field of Ruin. All right, I have something else to exile now from my hand. Pass back to them. If they play Lily, we'll use the Contempt. I don't know how many Lilies they've got or how many Planeswalkers they've got all in all, so it's kind of scary. Uh, I'll exile the mountain. I guess I'll just go ahead and, I don't know, have another land. They're down to four cards. They're probably just waiting for me to play something. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, I'll pass. I'll pass. I'll wait for them to do something, and then I'll pass. All right, turn target creature. I want my Bone Crusher Giant. I want you to discard. Let's just start shocking, I guess. And I'll just play this. Okay, cool. No, I wasn't supposed to play the land. I was supposed to hold that for Nico Bolas. Darn it. Okay, are they, like, flooding? Or are they just, like, holding back removal? They must just be holding back removal. Yep. Ooh. All right, let's try it again. Three, six. I might just want to fire this off. I think I will. Try to play Goblin Dark Dwellers, I guess? I'll return this giant, and then they'll discard. Pretty cool. All right. So now they are down to one last card, right? They've got to beat this. We have something for whatever creature they might play or Planeswalker. Feels good to have the Dreadbore. Bra Brazen Borrower giving me back my magical cards. That I do not mind. Wait, unless we get wheeled. I, I do mind that. <laughs> I very much so mind that. Do not wheel me. <laughs> I guess the only reason why I even fear a wheel is because if I'm willing to play wheels... You know what I mean? Better players will, will probably play wheels then. Oh. Three, six. All right, now let's just give him an emblem. I'm just going to give him an emblem right off the bat. So they take one. So we're going to try to do this little fancy loop again, the loop de loop. If they have removal, they're going to use it on the Chandra, which I assume they do. Little Lily. Their own Chandra. I see you're also a person of culture, Debo Legion. Very nice. Very nice. All right. And I assume you're going to just minus to pick off my Chandra? Sure. Seems good. I need one land. One land. Uh, that, I guess that makes that a little bit easier. I guess it's all the same, right? Make him sack a creature. Make him sack an artifact. Cast Stomp. Get rid of Chandra. Cast a Bone Crusher Giant. Pass back to them. I mean, we're at 19 right now. They've still got an Emblem ticking. They have no removal, so even a Kalidus here won't save them. And they know about this Dark Dwellers in my hand that's going to be able to grab a Fry. All right, let's go to town. Uh, let's begin combat. Come on, let me get in on the combat here. Oh no, they have removal. Soft. Okay. The Grixis deck had removal. I do love Grixis though, so I appreciate this beat down I'm getting. I'll make you sack a creature. I mean, I have Dark Dwellers, so you know what's going on there. They're down to seven. Can we survive? A Thief of Sanity. I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, let's go ahead and use that. Cast Fry. Fry on the blue card. Unless I accidentally misclick here. Please do not misclick. All right, get in there. Army of 4-4s, four baby. Loses to Languish dot Tribal. Let's go. All right, they're down to two. Let's get this 4-1. and one. I mean, after we mulligan, of course. All right, now let's get this 4-1. Oh, this hand. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put the mountain down at the bottom because... <laughs> oh, this, this hand. <laughs> We're already like 30 turns behind. Oh, no. I should have kept that mountain. I should have kept that mountain. 
Oh, good. Goody. Um, I think we should put that bedevil to the bottom. I want to find something that is actually, like, so next turn I would try to go Thought Seize with Temple of Malice up. Oh, boy. All right, show me what you got. All right, oh, I think I'm going to put that on top. I do want the untapped land here because we do need a few more lands. I think I can wait, right? I want to wait another turn. So next turn, I can I can push now. Next turn, I can go ahead and go Bone Crusher Giant plus Thought Seize. Probably get something a little bit better than just a, I don't know, probably a random burn spell maybe. Because then Hazret's four mana. That's around the mana curve that I want to be at for picking stuff off. Sure, let's blow this up. Let's not take unnecessary damage for no reason. All right, perfect. Let's just Thought Seize. See what they're playing. Fe oh, yeah, Phoenix. <laughs> yeah, Phoenix falls under one of those things that we don't want to see. So, yeah, I'm getting rid of that one. You can count on that. Uh, put on top of the library. I mean, it guarantees us land number five, right? So we go and play the Canyon Slough on turn four. Slough, right? It's Slough or sl sl Sloth? Sloth? Slough. Slog. <laughs> Canyon Slog. All right, pass. Hit him with the land. Play it. When I say hit him with land, I mean, like, I'm going to show him this land. All right. What you got for me, opponent? Another land. Interesting. Interesting, opponent. All right, I guess I'll just play a Dark Dwellers and try to rip something from their hand with Thought Seize. Dark Dwellers. Hit them with the Dark Dwellers. Uh, let's get rid of Lava Coil. So they actually have to work to uh, kill my uh, friendly neighborhood Goblin Dark Dweller here. They can send both damage here if they'd like. They are more than welcome to. All right, there goes that mountain. They've got a card we don't know about. That's a very good card now that I think about it. Oh, boy. Is this becoming a thing? Like, are we just constantly going to have to, like, get dunked on by these uh, phoenixes? Because that seems like the case today. I guess, okay, this feels really bad, but... <laughs> Maybe we get them to use their mana if we wait, right? We let them, we let them do their thing. We just pass back to them. Oh, darn it. This feels terrible. Oh, boy. Like, this this feels pretty bad for us right now. Maybe we can get them to lightning strike themselves. That'd be amazing. Yes, blank my light uh, blanket. You, you would then no longer have to worry about this beautiful, sweet giant. You can lightning strike it. Be on your way with it. And everything will be fine. I can't afford to take too much damage here. That's the problem. So, sure. Pass. This card just like three for one to us, but we get some bodies out of this, so next turn we can go double giant. And good news, I have another Dark Dweller, so I can go ahead and Fatal Push something again. Come on. I mean, I don't. I may not even actually have to use Fatal Push. That's the best part. Like, I could just play Dark Dwellers, push that elemental token. Then this allows me to hold up. Oh, man. But if I hit double land, I want to go double giant, right? Or if I hit a land, I want to go double giant. Oh, no, this is not good. They're, they're spending four mana. Usually four mana is not a good thing to see being spent. All right, so that's Hazaret, right? Oh, it's a Chandra. Yeah, I guess we're going to push that off. I wanted to see if I could draw something for it. I didn't. It's a feel bad. I probably should have just held on to that. Yeah, I really should have just held on to that. Mute Vault, sure. They take four damage. Or no, they take um, two damage only. All right, let's begin combat. Yup. Jeez Louise. This is becoming a problem. We get another draw off of this Chandra. Kind of a nuisance. Alright, pass back to them. Let's see what they do. They got a Chain Whirler off this. Oh, man. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What's more important here, actually? I think I don't want them to draw any more cards, to be completely honest. I don't think I can let them draw any more cards. I gotta keep them low. I'm gonna take four here, then I'm gonna play Dark Dwellers. Dark Dwellers can then just, like, kill the, the Giant or the Chain Whirler. That Chandra did work. Castle Emberth means five, so I'm down to seven. Oh, boy. At least it wasn't, like, Thought Seize or something like that. I have to target that. Get rid of this darn Chain Whirler before I die. Kari Zev will be an issue, because I'm taking two from that, but I get to block the Raghavan? Oh, come on, dude. That's brutal. That's super brutal. Okay, so then they get to pump, so that's really three, five damage. I'm down to three. I think I'm dead. 
It's a 2-1? Yeah, it's a 2-1. I think I'm dead. I don't know like if they're like a red deck or if they're just like big red or something like that. I've got a lot of removal. They have a Chandra randomly. I was expecting them to be a little more low to the ground. Hmm. I think... Th okay, yeah. Sure. Yep, take... I guess... Yeah, that's that's my turn. They must have one burn spell. Or something with them, right? Oh, jeez. Louise. And that Castle Ember is going to help them win. Um, three, two, and I die next turn. Three, six, seven. I can't do both. I think this is the only way we can survive this. Make them use their mana to pump so they can kill my Dark Dwellers. And then on their turn, I'll have to go shock. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yep. Ideally, we get to go Coligan's Command, deal two. Untap land that doesn't shock here. Please untap land. I get out of the spot. They have no cards currently. Oh, a shock land. Okay. Coligan's Command. Get back. Uh, I die if I go down to two, though. Because, like, every burn spell kills me. If I choose to only shock... Yeah, I think I have to. That's just the way it goes. That feels kind of bad. Be there, play it. Yeah. Uh, deal. Uh, what, turn target card from a graveyard to your hand. Go a cold against command. Deals two damage to any target. Okay, perfect. Three. So that's five. Because if not, I go three. Giant, giant. So okay, cool. Have to make him have it. It's all the same, right? Like it doesn't matter. Deal two. Do I have anything else in my graveyard that I would want? Bone Crusher Giant's pretty good, but not a fatal push. I'd rather just get another Dark Dwellers. Hmm. I gotta go to two. I don't think we have any way to like survive. They'll just peel a burn spell and kill us, but the way it's gotta go. Mutal Vault's very good against us. Check. Oh jeez. Kill that, so that's no longer there. I gotta put myself in a position to win, so I gotta I gotta do this. Gotta put him down to eight. Gotta put him down to eight. Pray they just hit a land or something. Although it's unlikely, they have eight. We have very we have like no ways to gain life, they know that. If they draw a haster, then we're dead. As long as I don't click through my combat step on accident, I should be good. Perfect! Got there! GG's. Woo! Nice and easy. <laughs> nice and easy. Politus, please. Yes, get into the deck. You are a champ. And exactly what we need in our lives. Uh, maybe we don't need too many thought seizes, but like a few don't hurt. Because we have a very bad time dealing with phoenixes. On the draw. They're going to be pretty aggressive on the draw. Chandra, that's a bit too spicy for me. So now we have two cards we can bring in. Maybe like, we can't let them keep a Chandra and like a glory bringer. Although, like, Awaken Inferno is the only way we can actually deal with a, whatchamacallit, a, uh, a phoenix. Yeah, I'll keep one. One, two, we have two mana. We have earliest interaction is a three mana spell. I'm going to mulligan. Mulligan. All right. I guess this is a, a must keep, right? Bottom. That to the bottom. Done. Can we win this on, on a mull to five? I don't know. I guess it depends how good their hand is, right? It has to be super slow. Uh, I'll keep this on top. Pass back to the opponent. Castle Embereth again. Gonna go ahead and play this. Um, put on top of the library. Yeah, I do want that. Uh, that that castle. There's a potential chance that I might need to discard something, and I may want to throw away the swamp. All right, I'm going to play this blood or this swamp. This way, I can blow up a a phoenix if they play it, and then use collective brutality on my turn. So minus two. I don't want all the modes, unfortunately, but yeah. Minus two drain on the token, because that card is such a pain to beat. Yup. I have to kill this. Oops. Undo. Undo. I guess I could just... Which mode do I want to use? I don't think I need to drain. Alright, so they have a glory bringer. Oh, jeez. So they're just big red. They got... E they went even bigger. <laughs> okay, so languish is a good call. Languish is a very good call. Three cards. That's useless. Pass. 
Oh boy. Here comes Chandra. So we need to be able to blow up said Chandra, but we can't. We need to save this for that Muta Vault. I mean, let's just keep looking, right? Let them play out their deck. Yep. Sure. Hmm, what can I draw? Is there anything I really draw that changes this right now? Like, a sweeper doesn't... It has to be Languish, I guess? Oh, wow. Drew it. <laughs> skill, of course. Always skill. That was a singleton Languish. I mean, it doesn't win us the game, but it means we're slightly alive. Oh, jeez. They're just glory bringers for days. And they have another one, I recall. I mean, they use their Chandra, sure. Yeah, that's gonna do it. GG's. We do want Thoughtseize in this matchup. They're a very slow deck. Brutality's not all that great. Probably could take a few of those out. Fatal Push, kind of medium. Glory Bringer for Glory Bringers. More Glory Bringers all the time. All right, let's try this. We have some pretty solid five drops. I know that that's, like, the curve is one to five, but I'm, I don't think I can mulligan again. I mean, that was on a mull to five or something like that, so I, I don't hate our hand from, like, last game. I think our deck did all right for what we were given. Okay. On to our main phase one. Let's go ahead and windmill slam this canyon slew, slough, slug, slog, slog. <laughs> Let's just see if we can irritate everybody all at once. Slug, slog, slough, slush. All right. What you got for me, opponent? Hi. Uh, okay, they have seven cards in hand. I don't think. Do we? When do we want to fire thought seize off? I guess let's go ahead and just fire it off now. Like I was hoping to like. Fire it off a little bit later to see what whatever their late game is, but I don't think we have much to interact with their early game, so... What do we draw? Come on. Nope, that is not interaction. That's a feel bad. What two drops do they have here? Bone Crusher, Bone Crusher. Glory Bringer, Chandra. Pain Whirler is triple red, so they can keep that. They have Redundancy and Bone Crusher Giants. Hmm. It's not the five drop in Glory Bringer. Yeah, let's get rid of Chandra. Almost passed through my turn there. Woo! Kept you all on your toes, right? You're all pretty worried there. I know. I know. All right, cool. So they have Muta Vault, which oddly, I don't know if I want to play, right? That fixes their mana base. One Stomp Giant played a Muta Vault. They have one card I don't know about. Cool. All right, how do we get out of this? We need something. That's something. Hmm. All right, we'll see how this plays out. If we need to, I'll go ahead and just uh, play Dark Dwellers just to Thought Seize them. Sure. They have three mana. They're quite a ways away, so I'm going to go ahead and just play Glorybringer. Let's begin combat. And Exert. Get that card out of here. Now, next turn, we get to go ahead and play Chandra Awakened Inferno. We know that they have both Muta Vaults, so there's three cards that we don't know about, and three that we do. Chain Whirler, they're still too far away from. They need two more red sources, so I probably won't use Field of Ruin. Swole Scar Mage, you got it. Animate, you got it. They're gonna turn off, huh? Hmm. Let me crush. Okay, there is a world where I set this up perfectly. But I think we should just go ahead and go for the Thought Seize play. Crusher, Glory Bringer, Soul Scar, Bone Crusher Giant is the one. Cool. Pass back to them. They have double Chain Whirler, double Glory Bringer. They have a lot of things, huh? They have a uh, non zero amount of magic cards in hand. If I hit a land this upcoming turn, we can immediately start firing off uh, all the things we need, right? We need to, like, we can go start going and, like, upping Chandra. GG's. Looks like we got it. That was uh, quite the abrupt end there. Uh, we got a four and one with the deck. So only really losing to those darn rekindling phoenixes. So look, I like Vross's Contempt. We have the life gain from it and stuff like that. And the exile is pretty relevant. But I'm wondering now, do we just need stuff like Lava Coil in the sideboard? Because I've been running into a ton of rekindling phoenixes. Yeah, like that. We lost to that Is It deck because we just couldn't deal with the the Phoenix efficiently. Yes, we probably should have taken one earlier, but you know, I, I regardless, th that card just requires two. Ma like it, it's like a two for one, even three for one in some situations. So, and it, that is not good for us. And I think that's the only thing I would probably move around with this list is try to be able to deal with Phoenixes, uh, have more efficient ways to exile. Whether that be bringing in more Kalidas into the sideboard, maybe even one in the main. 
Uh, like we can maybe try cutting a glory bringer or something like that and playing another Kalidus. Uh, I, I was expecting a little bit more blue white control. Didn't get to run into a ton of that. Um, but yeah, so I think just Kalidus's lava coils, just more ways to deal with Phoenixes, maybe gain some life. And uh, the, the deck seemed pretty fun. Uh, functioned quite well. Maybe we can go up another field of rune if we ever need the, the non basic land destruction stuff. But the deck was fun. So if you like something that's super grindy along the lines of like Jund and whatnot or maybe like a tap out Grixis control deck, this definitely has that. It ch it lobs the green so that it just has a better mana base or it lobs the blue so yeah, once again, just has a better mana base so you get to play all your Chandras that are double red and you get them early. So yeah, uh, thanks so much for watching another episode of Pioneer Peak and as always, I do appreciate you all returning to watch my content or checking out my channel on, on Twitch. Uh, it means the world to me that you all come by and hang out. So... If you want to see anything of yours made, make sure you leave that in the comments or reach out to me on my MTG Goldfish email. Or, of course, reach out to me on Twitter. Stop by my Twitter, uh, my Twitch channel and things like that. And maybe I'll try your deck out for a video. So thanks for watching my content here. And as always, if you appreciate the content we make here, feel free to leave a like and a sub and hit the bell icon to be notified when a brand new video comes up. On that, your friendly neighborhood Asian Avenger signing out. I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.